Okay, this is going to be a very short video showing you how to do one of these problems from your homework. Uh, I'll let you figure out which number it is, but I'm calling it problem one. Classic related rates problem where we've got a boat that's being pulled towards a dock. Okay, this is a chance to see a changing hypotenuse. Usually we've got things in x and y directions that are changing. But this is a good old Pythagorean situation. It's a right triangle with this rope making the hypotenuse. Okay? So like I said, I really want you to read these problems carefully. Draw a picture. There's a lot of different ways to do a problem like this. Um, as long as you are proceeding sort of correctly, you can find the correct answer. Uh, and it might be a different way than somebody else has found it. The way I'm looking at this is I'm thinking, okay, well, what's the snapshot data? What's the basic information we've got? We've got this right triangle. We know that the boat is um, eight feet away from the dock along this extra dimension. The rope is going up one foot. So I can solve for L by doing a little Pythagoras, and that's going to be the square root of 8 squared plus 1 squared. Okay, so 64 plus 1 is 65. So I'm going to keep it in exact terms. Okay, don't go all decimal if you don't need to. All right, so the length of that is exactly radical 65. All right, then I just need to find a way to relate the change in L to the change in X. And that's still going to be good old Pythagoras. So I know that x squared plus 1 squared is always going to be equal to L squared. Okay, And since I have an equation relating my two variables, all I need to do is take the derivative. Okay, I could, if I wanted to, solve for L and have L be the square root of x squared plus 1 squared. But when I go to take the derivative of something with a square root, it's just as much more difficult to do that, and there's no real need to do it. It's one of the nice things about this type of problem. So when I take the derivative with respect to time, okay, it's not the variable that this is, but with respect to a second variable, I have to use the chain rule. So it becomes 2x. That's the derivative of the outside, not messing with the x part. But then the derivative of x with respect to time is just dx dt. Plus, well, the derivative of any constant number is 0. And then the derivative here with respect to time is the exact same thing, 2L dL dt, all right, dt. Well, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the rate of change of the boat's position in the x dimension. So I'm looking for this. Okay, well, I can cancel the 2's, and I can say that dx dt is simply going to be L times dL dt. Sorry to squeeze that in there all divided by x to get that over to the other side. Okay. Well, what is that equal to? L is exactly radical 65. Okay. dL dt is the rate at which I'm pulling the rope, which could be another number, but in this case it's a boring 1. And it's all over then my fixed, or my, the distance at the snapshot moment of 8. Okay. So you'll see radical 65 is just a little bit more than 8. So when you're dividing by 8, Timesing it by 1, you get something that's very close to like 1.01. I'll let you type that into the calculator to see what it is exactly. But, well, what it is approximately, I should say, this is the exact answer. Radical 65 over 8. Okay? Um, I think it's worth thinking about this in terms of does that make sense that the boat is actually moving a little faster than the rope? Okay? So just to give you guys some confidence in your results, if you think about a really long, long, long uh, rope and the boat is very, very, very far away, okay? Think about this being like a thousand meters away, and that's one. This is going to be the square root of one million and one, all right? Which is going to be super close to a thousand. So if I'm pulling this at a rate of one, the boat is actually going to be coming very, very close to that exact same rate. They're very nearly identical. They're very nearly parallel. All right. So you'd expect your answer here to be pretty close to that. As the boat gets closer and closer and closer, and this angle is sh sharper, okay, you could then see well what's going to happen then. All right. To draw another diagram, if it's dropping one, let's pretend the boat is one unit away. All right, and it's going up one unit. All right. How far would I have to pull it in order for it to be right touching the dock? Well, that would be the square root of 2 would be the length of that, and that's 1.414. So I would only need to pull the rope 41 centimeters, and then the boat would touch the dock. It would go 1 meter when I only pull it 41 centimeters, and that would be faster. So you'd expect the boat to be going a little bit faster than our given rate of 1. 
um, but not all that much faster. Even at the very, very end of it, it's only going to be going a little bit more than twice as fast. But up until that time, when it's like 8, 9, 10 feet away, it's still going to be going very close to just the rate that you're pulling in the rope. All right? So think through these solutions. See if they make sense. Okay, good luck.